Hi, I'm Brian Howe, 4-H Youth Development Extension Educator. 4-H enrollment for 2023 has started. 4-H members must enroll every year. For instructions on how to update or create a membership profile in 4-H online, go to purdue.ag forward slash enroll 4-H and click on the appropriate set of instructions. 4-H is available to all youth currently enrolled in grades 3 through 12, and many 4-H is available to youth currently enrolled in kindergarten through second grade. Several 4-H clubs have started meeting for the year. The Cantering Kids dressed up their horses and visited the nursing home residents on Halloween, while members of the Liberty Leaders 4-H club teamed up with the Tri-Central FFA and trick-or-treated for canned goods around Sharpsville and collected several hundred items that will go to the Good Shepherd Food Pantry. Being involved in a club is a way to enhance your 4-H experience. If you need help finding the right club, please give us a call at the Purdue Extension Office and we will help you determine which group might be the right fit. The community is invited to the 4-H Celebration Information and Achievement Night on Monday, November 21st. Dinner in an open house will begin at 6 p.m. while the recognition program starting around 7 p.m. The free meal will be catered by Butch and Carolyn Moreland. This will be a fun night with 4-H clubs providing games and activities and you can learn about the many opportunities available through 4-H. The other program areas will also have some highlights of their, um, the things that they've been doing throughout the year and throughout the community. These are the major 4-H highlights for November. The sooner you get enrolled in 4-H, the better and the more informed you will be, so make sure that you sign up now. Hi, my name is Emily Peterson and I'm the Ag and Natural Resource Educator here for Tipton County. I hope everyone's having a good fall and continuing to get farming wrapped up for the season. Some important dates that I have coming up is the OISC has sent out notices this last week for the pesticide applicators who have their expiration date being December 31st, 2022. So I've attached the form here. Feel free to print that out, fill it out, send it in with your check, or feel free to stop by the office, we have them printed out as well. With that being said, if you need any, to attend any of these PARP events, I will attach the link here below um, so you could click on it and see what events we have coming up. There's over 20 registered events between now and that December 31st deadline. Um, so if you need those, feel free to click on that link. Um, the next important date is the Managing Today and Tomorrow program is coming up in December where they will be meeting five times virtually throughout the month. Um, the sign up is ends November 28th for that, and I will attach the flyer for more information. And lastly, the Purdue Women in Agriculture team is hosting the Literacy Learner Book Club. The registration date is November 7th, and I will attach the flyer for more information. Some save the dates for the future is the AW Conference, formerly known as the Purdue Women in Agriculture Conference, is set to take place on February 21st through the 23rd in the Terre Haute Convention Center. And the Indiana Small Farmers Conference have set their dates for March 2nd through the 3rd at the Hendricks County Fairgrounds. Hi everyone, I hope you all had a great month. I know it's a busy one for me. This month I plan to continue assessing our community needs and building relationships. I was able to meet in person with several people last month, so I look forward to continuing that. I also have been conducting a lot of research on food waste and looking at ways to improve that issue within the school. And so I plan to continue to focus on that project this month, as well as meet with some of our community leaders to see about partnering opportunities for that. As always, if you have any questions or would like to chat, stop in or call the Extension office and I'd be happy to meet with you. Hi everyone, I'm Eric Hillis, your Purdue Extension Health and Human Sciences Educator for Tipton County. Here are a few updates I wanted to give you. First, the Get Walking program just started on October 31st. I want to say thank you to everyone that signed up. For those that did, you should now be getting this program emails. For anyone that did not sign up but would still like information or be involved, send me a quick email and I'll be happy to get you plugged in. Last month, the Tipton County Homemakers held their achievement night. I'd like to give a big thank you to Jackie Netherly of Area 5. Jackie was our guest speaker and provided a great presentation for the evening. Congratulations are in order for the Judge's Choice Award winner, which was Bonnie Rund, and the People's Choice Award went to Carol Plew. I also want to say congratulations to the Century Farms recipient, which was the James Tebby family of Liberty Township. Now, on November 10th at noon, you can register for the Freezer Pleaser Meals webinar. You will learn about resources available to help you plan ahead by creating freezer-friendly meals for your family. And finally, I'm going to be reaching out to community leaders about a couple programs I have available. I have Captain Cash, which is geared towards third graders and presents basic money management skills. 
I also have Where Does Your Money Go, which provides adults with tools and principles so they can be more aware of their spending habits and also money management principles. So with all that said, thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me, be sure to contact me at the office by phone or email. Thank you.